That's a dad joke right there. What about Mormons? She, uh, we don't, don't want because they don't watch the show. That's why. Dirty joke. Dirty, dirty, joke. Dirty, dirty joke. Dirty joke. Dirty joke. Dirty <laughs> joke. And I believe that in 1978, God changed his mind about black people because I'm a Mormon. <laughs> That's right, Utah. We're looking at you. It's Saturday night, and it's Murder Hobo Inc. Clearly, the campaign version. Folks, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us. Uh, bienvenue, all that happy shit. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Twitch, 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 Twitch archive. Right here, right below me here. Cool swag shit. I'm wearing it. Carol's wearing her design, which is far less uh, hey. than my designs. Hey. I would buy one of those other designs. In fact, I'd probably buy my design if you put it on, on that as an option for the freaking zippered hoodie. You didn't tell I me what color you wanted. Oh, I didn't. Oh, know. oh, <laughs> damn you, damn you. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your face. Yeah, I don't think it, I think it automatically comes with the colors. No, actually, I, have, I literally have to pick the colors that I want. Oh, wow. I literally well, I have to pick them. I thought it was the colors are based on the shirt you you get. Oh, nope. cool. Yeah, no, I, I can pick uh, any number of colors. Folks at home, any number of colors. So if we don't have a shirt uh, in your color, uh, tell me. We'll go ahead and add that color. It's not that big. It will take a little bit longer because the uh, factories over in China are just getting back into the swing of things. We pay there our people a delay 50 on the cents item. a shirt, not a nickel a week. We know it's, all, we know it's Bangladesh, not China. You it's know what? A, it's obviously 10 cents and then 40 cents worth of rice you're giving the guys. Sweatshop is such an ugly term to use. Folks, uh, we'll get back to the recap here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and introduce our uh, cast members, which I would hope you would all be familiar with it. Uh, we'll start with Chris. Chris, who are you? Who do you play? My name's Chris. I am playing Miniz, the Aarakocra uh, cleric. My God. I can't Freudian, Freudian. <laughs> drinking Corona, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> yes. He's living on the edge of danger, folks. <laughs> living on the edge. How, how we do it in Canada. Right. Uh, next up, Blake. Blake, who are you? Who are you playing? I'm Blake. I'm playing Blake. <laughs> Ernest. That's what I have to work with, folks. Yeah, so uh, I'm Ernest. I'm uh, the anti-Druid playing, uh, or uh, shit, I am playing the anti-Druid Lucas. Um, and uh, last episode, I, I think I uh, was fucking around, and this episode, I'm going to do the same thing. Groovy. Uh, Kyle, up next. <laughs> Figures. Coronavirus. Excuse me. Oh, it's stuck in there. It's stuck in there. Bad. Okay. Wrong end. Wrong end for coronavirus. Maybe. <laughs> uh, bottle cap. Hi, I'm Kyle. I'll be playing the wonderful lie barbarian Dewey Docamel. Uh, I just tried to fix some plumbing in my house. So the murder hobo has risen in me and I have a desire to unleash it. So my Carol, you're dead. You when you've just been drinking quit a bunch of cranberry juice to get rid of a urinary tract infection. <laughs> oh, I love cranberry I'm juice. just glad we didn't see the plumbers crack. Last but not least, <gasps> she'll point that. out she's the yes. newest member because she nagged the shit out of all of us. Oh, please, I Carol. <laughs> Consistently. Freaking lies, lies, lies. And honestly, it, it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't. <laughs> And, and She's the work. person who forgets to, you know, just reply to the dungeon master and hits reply all on everything. That's no, that's on purpose. If I want you all to see, I reply all. So as an <laughs> uh, Carol, I'm playing my uh, elven bard, Taryn, um, master of talking her way out of problems. <laughs> Is, it, is this on? Is this? A, no, 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 I, no, no, I'm no, not no, sure I heard that correctly. Well, we just we have audio issues. Her way I think there's audio situation. issues here. I'm not sure I heard st that correctly. Okay. <laughs> and also, uh, yeah, was, yeah, three times sucker. So I resolved issues without getting into a fight. 
<laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, sure. We'll uh We'll go ahead and dispense with reality and we'll go with that answer. Folks, uh, if you haven't seen this show before, uh, these five are on uh, every other weekend and they are consistent. It's there it is, guys. Insane. I got it. It's good. Don't worry. <sighs> they hey, unleash you evil. have the coronavirus. Uh, I come and watch our show. So fucking they hard. unleashed evil and now they are it was the coronavirus. They trying to put it <coughs> back oh, so we have a magic I'm, still, I'm still having one i'm still no. having one uh last trying week to put it in the box. two weeks ago in case you missed it uh the party is still fractured we have manise who made it all the way to fulton watching some uh, uh dewey docamel live barbarian uh gnomish motherfuckers on a ship uh he also saw the uh dragon fly over and into town uh, we have Blake making friends with everybody and their brother along the way, and then we. I have... rescued that town from a from an undead outbreak. Goddamn sure. it! Sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, heroes. Uh, Lucas and Dewey attempted to throw Terran under the bus, damn near successfully, with Man of War and Secretariat, the Centaur Brigade. <clears throat> And those three find themselves in Rourke. Uh, the batting order was uh, rolled off screen, and we are going to start with Maniz. Uh, Maniz, when last we left you, you were outside the city walls of Fulton, a major, major metropolitan area in the campaign. It is on the southeastern tip, just the tip, uh, of the continent, and you have enclosed yourself in some fitting camouflage and you are just hiding out and seeing what the world has to do after having a yummy supper of magic carp two days previously we will begin with you manise what would you like to do uh so i'm just Stop. outside roll perception oh my god <laughs> So it begins. Oh, boy. Uh, d -d -d 12. 16. Not good enough. As you view the city, you feel a spear point in the back of your head. And you hear a voice. Manise of Andorra. <laughs> no. <laughs> Feel the spear tip start to move your head to one side, slide down, and tink. Do you want to turn around and see who got the drop on you? Sure. It is a female Aarakocra that you recognize to be Ketchup Keat, a fellow student from the Academy. She did not hang around with you very much. You don't know her very well, but you do know her as a classmate. Uh, she has several scars denoting that she has seen some serious action. She is a ranger, as you recall. I believe she was a hunter ranger. As you turn to face her, she goes, liar, how have you been? Uh, I've, I've been all right. Been Been through some interesting things with the, the the group of people i set off with on on the mission after we uh finished up at the academy oh yeah Energy. are did you lose them like i lost my group yes there was a big thing with the uh going on in if i remember correctly that was in not simon's hollow right when everything hit the fan and we all effed off drink. I think it was, it was right after the volcano went off. Nice setup right. for my new character, Frank. I'll take it from here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we we went through, uh, I think shortly after we were in Fink, I, I lost track of them and ended up down here. So your group is still alive? Last I saw, yes. But as far as I know, maybe. <laughs> Why have you not contacted them? Because um, I have no way of getting a hold of them. D20 against me. Four. Ten. 
Well, I suppose since my group is lost, I don't need this. Reaches in and produces a small gemstone. Uh, it's kind of triangular in shape, and two of the points are broken. What's that? It is a stone of messaging. It will allow you to contact one of your party, uh, if you can, as long as they aren't dead, uh, and send them a message. The message is very short, uh, one sentence, and they can respond with one sentence. And then, sadly, that stone will be useless. Okay. Uh, I have I, I have somebody in mind that I could reach. It'd be Lucas. Oh, I never God. much cared for the half elf. He was kind of a dick. <laughs> it's a wood elf, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking, he, speaking of Lucas, have you guys made it back to his homeland? What's left of it? Uh, no. We haven't even been off the fucking continent yet, have we? No, I don't think we've left the continent yet. So you are unaware of the wars. The wars. That will be no. <laughs> Our Andorran neighbors have Forward. gone full scale tribal and they are reeking across the landscape. Oh, Andorans, hey, hey, that's hey. Dewey's people, right? Hey, not tribal. Not tribal. Heavily civilized. Yeah, we've Dewey's been uh, super inventive. I've been keeping my eyes op- on on Dewey as a result. Uh, he's been a little shady, so that's I could see how this has happened. Artifact, artifact, <laughs> not a, not a limited range. Uh, well, not all of them are problematic. The bookends are still trying to keep the peace, but the zealots are on a murderous rampage as the zealots usually are. So we were told that a great evil has been unleashed and we were seeking answers when my party was ambushed by the zealots and sadly destroyed. Oh, well, I being good. an era Cockra remain strong and virulent and powerful, just like I'm sure you have. <laughs> For the I mean, he took advantage of the thing. fact that you can fly and fucked off. No, we uh, we worked well as a team. Oh, so do we, but, you know. Us That's Eric why you're Cockera, together. <laughs> <laughs> us Eric Cocker look down on those who can't fly. Give me another perception check. I'm using a different D20 this time. <laughs> 18. You hear it, and Ketchup puts her wing across your beak as she hears it. And you hear rustling to your left and to your right. I pull the crossbow and fire off to the right. Sure, at disadvantage, go ahead. <laughs> Just blindly fire crossbow. Aren't you in town? You, you, for, you forgot to put the paper in front of your face, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a 17 plus things and then a one plus things. <laughs> <laughs> so you shoot ketchup keat. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> so it begins. Uh, how much damage did you do to your friend? <laughs> oh god, and this is a fairly anyways. Dumbass. Oh, fuck, thank God. Thank God for low rolls. Two damage. <laughs> To, uh, <laughs> who are you today? It's not Beaverhausen, it's the other one. Cro- Co- I, I was, I was still Beaverhausen when I left, but oh no, no, I was, I was, uh, you're uh, the boy, Carlin, Carlin, Carlin. Uh, when last we left you, you were going to Dimension Door to your heart's content. How many dimension doors were you going to use? Well, no, uh, no, I was resting after saving the town from the undead scourge and then headed to Rourke is where we'd left off. And you dimension door across the... Uh, I'm not going to burn light. spells. I'm not going to burn spells leaving the town in a, as a hero. Okay, so no spells, just normal travel. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, you pass through the blight zone. You have some record. Uh, oh, oh that, that's that's what I, I was trying to uh, detour that. So, are you dimensioning or no? Uh, well, I think I guess what I need to know then is how. What's the radius? Like, how far out of my way would it put me? Uh, yeah, it's about a half acre. Okay, then no, it walk it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, as you walk it, give me a perception check. <laughs> That's gonna be. Uh, 17. Uh, over in the distance, about four football fields, so about 1,200 feet, you see the infamous figure uh, that was wearing the animal skull helmet on the horse, giving instructions to his underlings and is most likely responsible for the blight. Right. Uh, he, he had made an appearance after I had killed them all. So this is the next morning. Yes. Okay. So he seems to be traveling in a similar direction. At this time, he is alone. Uh, do I get the impression <laughs> that he's noticed me? He doesn't give two shits about you. I know, but I want to know if he knows I'm here. Can I do an insight or something? Insight. Uh, <laughs> six plus 19. Uh, every once in a while, And since you aren't invisible and it's daylight, clearly you assume that he can probably see you, but he's sailing by you like the pirate in the fourth Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Well, he, he should already be ahead of me, isn't he? He's taking his leisurely time. On horseback? Mm -hmm. Compared he's to on foot? Compared to on small foot? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just plodding along. Uh, go ahead and do a investigation check. Okay. Uh, that's going to be 23. You would surmise that he's going slow for a reason. He's either uh, matching your gate or possibly waiting for somebody. Is there any, like, scrub brush nearby? Like a oh, yeah. Yeah, it's... Port? Yeah, there's a lot uh, of it's planes. So there, well, there's. Well, I, I, I guess your scrub wasn't the right word. Is, is there a, a bushes a, and shit? Yeah, there's so there's plenty of places to hide. Can I can I move stealthily then? You can, but you're wide open. I mean, it's not like he's staring at you, but sure. Well, if he's waiting for someone, I don't want them to. See, I don't want. I don't want to be seen and have the encounter thrown off. Sure, go ahead and perception. Or. Er, Perception or stealth? Perception. Oh, okay. I assume you're going to look around to see if anybody's coming in. Yeah, yeah. That's also 23. You don't see anybody. So, yeah, you can probably pop in somewhere. Okay. I, and I guess I'll just kind of like move from bush to bush, but in as nonchalant a manner as possible. I'm picking berries. I'm fucking picking berries. I'm here to. Okay. Uh, uh, give me stealth now. They're 18. Uh, okay. 20, 22, 22. So you're hiding away, hiding away, hiding away. Back to Rourke. Taryn, when we last left you, you had your flute stolen, borrowed indefinitely, removed. Lucas and Dewey had attempted to throw you under the bus. Whoa, hey, uh, hey. Cola is, is, was, possibly still is, sick with the cold and or Dr. Robitussin's miracle cure. What would you three like to do? Also, remember, there is a familiar tiefling in town. Yeah. And you've seen him, and he's seen you. Actually, I don't really know. I don't really know who that is. So they Correct. I think uh, remember, just Ernie they, on that one. Yeah, Ernie me. and Blake, I think, are the only two that know that. I, I met him at the poker tournament. Mm -hmm. And I, I saw hard. from the top of the roof. Yeah. Correct. I was in prison getting hard. <laughs> <laughs> You, Shut mean, up. you mean getting it hard. <clears throat> so you three are in Rourke. Uh, first off, and this is kind of important, how long are you going to stay in Rourke? 
Um, oh, well, can I talk to them about this? Because I kind of want- sure. Stop pretending like we're not here, Taryn. Oh, she knows you're here. here. She, she knows, knows you don't count. Uh, I, I definitely want to. No, this is why we don't like Taryn. She's just rude like that. I want to stay at least overnight to rest up. No, wait, wait. Before we get to that, this is like right after where we left off. I'm going to ask you guys, and I have the bot. Hey, that I remember. And I'm like, well, I lost my flute, but I have this box, which I know we need. Um, I'm trying to remember if out of, if in game, I actually know that the evil was released from this box. I want to say I yes, do. Yes, we Lucas told you everything. It. Yeah, Lucas yeah. explained it. Yeah. So I think I'll hang on to this for now. Obviously, I'll hang on to it for now. But what's our next move? I mean, we need to do something about this. And clearly, if the evil needs to go back in this box, so we're the ones that are going to have to do it. Yeah, so the uh, the box that contains the evil, and then there's this rod of catching to catch the evil to put it back in the box. Uh, and part of that rod is actually at Battle Keep uh, slightly to the north of here. Uh, Dewey and I went to Battle Keep and we got our asses handed to us by some uh, spiders, some like displacer spiders or whatever. Uh, so we need to regroup as a team and then probably go get the rod or part of the rod. I mean, if there was, I can, we can see, this is kind of a hole in the wall town, isn't it? Yes, there's not even a uh, fence. Yeah, this it's just probably no magic shop here. I mean, because otherwise I'd be looking for a scroll of sending or better yet, two, because we have two, par you know, two party members on the, uh, out on the wind. Uh, I would party say we member. look for wanted posters. That might give us a clue where they're at. <laughs> Uh, I don't know about that, unless they're causing new crimes, but, um, <laughs> right now the wanted posters are probably all coming from, my guess is towards Fink's direction, or north, so I don't think we're gonna find them there. But, well, they couldn't go north either, because the bridge is up, because someone blew up the bridge! Can't imagine who that was. Wow, that's lucky, so we know they're on the southern part of the continent. So is there a town somewhere near here, a town will probably know more than me, uh, that w is a bigger town where we could find, find a magic shop where we could try to track down our missing Bolton. part? Yaddle, which is where you and uh, Perpetual uh, were originally headed. How far away is that from here? Uh, I, I believe it's a week and a half. Oh, God. And there's nothing closer? Sipic, but that's about a week and a day. Yaddle is the major port city. Yeah, no, I mean, and I was headed to that. <clears throat> is that a week walking, or is there a potential of getting a horse? I don't know. Would you like to check it to see for stables? Are there stables or centaur uh, ubers? Give me a, uh, give me a D12 roll. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about the little old lady from Pasadena with the cats? Is she still driving her merchant caravan Seven. around? There, there is uh, the little old lady from Pasadena is on the coast. Uh, do we? Yeah, there's stables here. Oh, we could see about getting you a could, horse uh, or a pony. Smell it. <laughs> um, I, I would rather hold off until we have a chance to rest. And also, I have a feeling that I, we should I agree. Get, gather more information while we're here as well instead of just like hop into the next town and missing our colleagues potentially. You want to see if they stopped here at all? That, that would be smart. That would be smart. Um, that would be smart. But interacting with people because I've heard <clears throat> a bit of coughing and going on in this town. So the plague is cl clearly here. Guys, I have a great constitution. I can talk to everybody for you guys. I would appreciate it. You survived Drano, didn't you? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I have the digitation, which may help. That does clean things, so... I, I have a lesser restoration where I can end either one disease or one condition afflicting a creature I touch. The condition can be blind, deafened, paralyzed, or poisoned. Yeah, there's no... Unless it's an evil artifact disease. Is it an evil artifact disease? Hold on. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, folks, I'm an excellent poker player. No tells whatsoever. 
So you smell the stables. You have uh, spoken with your colleagues. Do you guys have a general consensus before we go back to Maniz, who's shooting his only fucking friend in the world? <laughs> Turn him back, damn it. Accidentally shot. <laughs> Accidents happen, Frank. It's not my fault. It's Frank, a it's to be fair, you have a history. <laughs> you killed all your group and you're beating her. Your your and caused the academy problems. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh my god. All right. General yeah, consensus I, or no? Yeah. Two, three say, days. Fine. Yeah, let's rest. Well, Ask yeah, for my knees and rest. That is a good idea. We'll Fair rest, enough. We'll ask around town. Um, I'm we... sure nothing's going to happen at Roar. No, Can not... I see about uh, uh, um, the stable and having horses ready to go and on hold for us? No horses, uh, but they have something called a strider. Ooh, it's a, a small strider. pony. Very durable, very consistent. More than one? D12. Oh, boy. Did, did, someone, like, did someone like Moo make it here? <laughs> <laughs> someone like Moo. Uh, five. That is a five, too, so we Ty will go to the runner. Oh. Lucas, do you want to see if they have one for you? Yeah. Uh, no, it's all right. Okay, I'll roll then, I suppose. <clears throat> yeah, but you can shape shift into something that can run yeah. fast. <laughs> Only up to like. And then I can ride seven you. hours at a time. Whoa! Hey, this isn't the ship adventure. Back to my knees, my knees. <laughs> You've just shot ketchup Pete uh, as some unknown creatures move in. Uh, right after she takes the crossbow bolt to the feathers. She whips out, I believe, two blades. No, she whips out one blade, spins it around rather heroically, and stabs into the foliage. <laughs> uh, withdraws the blade, and it is covered in black blood. Uh, the movement around the foliage around you guys completely rattles and you appear to be surrounded by one less small raven-esque creature known as a kenku let's go uh, ahead no not the kenku's initiative there's one called kiri you <laughs> eight fuck 13 and four for them uh so you will go ahead of them uh, she gets two attacks. Boy, you fuckers better hope uh, you don't go up against me because she is just going to start... She is stomping the shit out of it. And she is going to do... Oh. Plus one. And that is a... Uh, she snaps the heads off two more. <laughs> she Jesus. is somewhat, she's somewhat of a hero, if you will. Uh, there are three yeah, more are messengers. Please. Go ahead. Why, why can't we have that Eric Cochran in our group? <laughs> <laughs> and for, will, for some reason, uh, this one has 68 hit points. I don't yeah, think she's I, ever been unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my wonderful 28. Um, I will uh, fire my crossbow. Oh boy! Uh, I got a ten, so I'm sure I didn't hit anything. Uh, that misses. They are a thirteen, so there are three of them. Uh, are they close enough for melee? Oh yeah. Uh, odd. You get two. Even she gets two. That's a one. <laughs> so they're going after you. She will be the orange. 12, 9, 19. So they hit her. Plus 5. Uh, 17 get you? Uh, no, 17 does not. Uh, so they got her. Uh, yeah, substantially more damage than you did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, new round top of the order. She will go. Uh, one hit, one miss. So she will not kill him. Yeah, that's kind of weak. Uh, you're up. She has wounded one. The other two are still full on melee. 
Uh, I will take two swipes with the short sword. <clears throat> that is a 20 modified and a 15. Both hit. Are you going after the two uninjured, the same individual, or the injured? How are you doing it? Uh, the <coughs> injured and, I guess, whatever else is closest to me. Okay, how much did you do to the injured one? Uh, nine piercing damage. Almost dead. And the other one? Oh, that's like total both hits. Oh, so <laughs> two. So and not much. So all twelve on that one. All. What do you mean all twelve? So your your total damage is twelve, right? Nine. Okay. What? <laughs> okay. How it's much? for for a short sword. It's one d six plus one. I rolled a six and a one. Oh, okay. So nine total damage. Nine total damage, yes. To the wounded one. To the wounded one. Got it. Okay. Uh, they're going to go ape shit. Odd even. Uh, odd again with a three. So you're going to get two wax. Uh, seven, 10, 15, and 15, dirty 20. Dirty 20 does get her. Six plus. Three, ouch, nine. Uh, fair enough. Top of the order. She is now pissed. One to the injured. She will hit that one and kill him. Uh, ten, and she, yeah, she gets that one too because it's got shitty AC. Ooh, nice hit. Uh, there are two left. You are up. One is one of those two are injured. <clears throat> All right, I will. Take another two wax with my sword. Ooh. Uh, you hit her again? No, 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 no ones. Uh, so that'd be a four, which I'm sure misses, and an eight, which I'm sure misses. Both miss. There are two. They will split their attacks. You'll be the copper. She'll be the orange. Uh, 13 plus five is 18, and 11 on her. Does the 18 get you? 18 ties. So, yes, if it meets, it beats, right? Uh, four plus three. Seven damage. Top Ugh. of the order. She's going to split her attacks again. First one is a miss. The injured one will be missed. Second one is a miss. Two rare misses. So, you still have an injured one and a healthy one. You're up. All right. I will... <clears throat> Fly away. Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so sad. Ah, fuck this. <laughs> on your own. <laughs> no, no. I'll uh, cast Guiding Bolt. Okay. Uh, injured or healthy? Uh, injured. Okay. And that is a nat 20. You will most likely kill him, but go ahead and re-roll. Re and a 12 on the second one. So just double. double. You'll, you'll definitely kill. Double max. Uh, so your guiding bolt strikes true and knocks it down. Uh, D12 against me. Let's see if this bitch surrenders. Eight. D12. Uh, just a sec. Two. I win. So odd. I surrender. Even. Fuck you. Five. Odd. I surrender. What do you think <laughs> as I turn to catch up? I never slay enemies who have surrendered to me. It is the credo of a hero. I follow the path. What, there's a credo? As do I. <laughs> That's what we do. That's what we've been doing the whole time. I just time. wanted to make sure. I just, just wanted to make sure I wasn't overstepping because you could easily wipe the floor with me. Just making sure. Just making sure. She levels her sword at the Kenku and says, Varlet, speak true or I will slice that beak off. Are you part of the Nayath Conference? The Kenku is crestfallen, dons its head, Yes, milady, I am part of the Nadeth Conference. Cut 
two prudence. Perpetua. Oh, you're going to say Perpetua. cuts her head off? <laughs> Perpetua. Uh, I see your idea, D12, against me. Okay. Eight. Eleven. You get... <laughs> you get within 100 yards of this creature, and just you notice that there's a slight dip in the uh, environment, and you see a rather long line of opponents headed up. Uh, I don't think you need insight to realize this is what this thing's been dragging its feet for. So it's rallying another attack against the town. It would, well, not the town you were just in, because they're headed towards Rourke. Oh, okay. Do you still want to go through with your plan? Well, no, because that also means that that wasn't what was happening, is, is how I would interpret that. Okay. What would you like to do? Uh, fuck that. I'm dimension door to Rourke. Uh, how many times? Uh, two, 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 that's one, two, three, four, five, uh, effectively nine. So 9,000 feet. And then I am out of spells for the day. 4,500. Uh, 4,500. Yeah. Cause it's 500 a piece. Well, you will have a substantial lead unless the damn thing charges on its horse, which I don't see why it would, uh, you zip along. Hoping that you are headed in the right direction. Give me a survival check. I thought I had made one before I left, but I'll make another one that's uh, 17. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, over to the trio. Uh, Dewey, yes. Two dried or er, two uh, ponies. Uh, Taryn and Lucas, what would you like to inquire about? I want to rest. Lucas, one, two, Dewey, three, four, Terran, five, six. All three of you, give me a perception check, please. 21. Uh, 23, I mean. That's only an 11. <coughs> 11. Okay. You have to turn off the mute button, it turns out. It, it helps. Uh, somebody didn't notice something. <laughs> uh, Lucas, there are three inns in town. Which one would you like to choose? Oh, God. Ooh. Um, what are the names of the three inns? I will choose based on that fact. El Maison. The Pinta, the Ma, and the Santa Maria. That many is the closet and the Chesterfield. Mm, I like the closet. Someday I'll leave. <laughs> uh, El Maison is a closet, is a and the Chesterfield is a no shit. Okay. Uh, you do know that you are not with Taryn or Dewey at this point, right? Oh, uh, well, I'm telling them I'm going to the closet before I, I depart. There are you go. Sure? I'm going to put it out there. Are you sure we want to hurry up and get in the closet? <laughs> do we want to stay in an inn or do we want to go outside because the plague is here? I am practicing social distancing. <laughs> and I am staying in the closet. <laughs> Gee, that's unusual for your PC. I can, I, can clean your, I can clean your room if you want. Like I said, I've got prestidigitation. I Jesus, that is the worst seduction skill I've ever seen. <laughs> I, I, I would appreciate it, Taryn. <laughs> guys, guys, I can prestidigitate afterwards. So, you know... <laughs> No, but needless charges Taren, from the. I think I've seen this movie on the internet. <laughs> I would prefer Dewey actually. <laughs> so Lucas tells you he's going to the closet. 
Taryn, what are you doing? Because Dewey's going to go get some horses or ponies. <laughs> so, you guys, so, all right, I guess I could go and see if anyone has seen. I guess I could go to, is there a bar? There is a bar here, I do remember. Um, oh, sorry, what, couple, what is yeah. here? What's here? Some type of a tavern or something. There's three R's in that. Yeah, that's what I was R, R, ah. R. Do <laughs> Englanders. <laughs> well, uh, you this old house loving lady. Uh, so uh, which bar would you like to go to? Um, I don't know. Do I know which one's the most? I'll walk by them and whatever seems to be the most popular or the first one you'd see as you come into town. Like what I'm trying to logically think of where Perpetua would go or, or so maybe. some somewhere within range of the entrance to town. Yeah. That would yeah. be Lou's Spot Tavern. Kind of divey. No oh boy. Spot. <laughs> I'll try. I mean, I'll go to all three of them if I have to, to just find out. And of course, neither out of game, I know neither one of them have been here. So, but I'll go and I'll ask. What are you asking? Um, I'll give a description and be like, hey, of course, I'll actually start with me. I'll say, has anyone could see an Aracroca? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that's a French pastry. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's seen one of those. <laughs> Is that, the, is that the one that's a nun's part? <laughs> Whatever. You guys know what I mean. And I'll just I'll describe him and I'll say he's a cleric and da 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 da. Uh, D12 so against me. Go, go D12. That's a one. <laughs> that's a one. Hey, do I look like directory assistance lady? Are you drinking or are you buying stuff? Oh, I'll have a drink. Oh, okay. Whatever. Uh, get, me, get me an ale. Gotcha. Uh, I call this a Sam Adams after my dad. It's a pale ale. Uh, now, what did you want to know? Freaking damn good, too. Uh, have you seen a... Yeah, I'm going to go to butcher again. How do you actually pronounce it? Aracocra. Aracocra, thank you. I, I don't know why. I never remember how to pronounce that one. It's one of them there bird thingies, right? Yeah, it's a bird. Yeah, it is. Um, I wonder how long you cook them. Why would you cook one? It's a people. Birds taste just like chicken. Yeah, but this is too much like a person. <sighs> I, I, I saw some of them short black birds, but not one of them. They're aracocris. Okay. Which, uh, game makes sense. All right. Um, I have my drink and I'll move on. Perception check as you leave. No, Jesus. Friggin' terrible rolls again, man. That's only like a five. Uh, Lucas, it's going to cost you uh, five coins to spend the night. Dewey, it's going to cost you five coins each. There are two available. Okay, there is a message out to you. Yep, I see it. I assume more gold. Uh, five, ten gold total. Uh. 20 gold total then for the horses and the Holy, thing. I, you're serious on that? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Yes, you can do that. Uh, you can go back to uh, the closet, get a room with Ernie or get your own room and do that. We can share. Uh, I don't want to share. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so 15 total gold for you. Taryn, uh, you want to go to the Rutabaga or Hype's home? Or Hypo's home, rather. Oh, whatever. Just want to line. The Rutabaga. So Bartender Emilio Estevez. <laughs> what, how can I help you? I'm looking for an Eric. <laughs> I'm kind of going to freaking screw him again. Or a Cockra. And then he's, a, and I said, I'll look again, I'll describe him. He's a cleric and yada, yada. So on so forth. Huh. You seen I don't one? think I've ever seen one of them before. I know what they are. I thought they were myth. A no, myth? they're real. I've traveled with one. I'm trying to find him. Ooh, I've traveled with one. Do you drink with them or just come in and ask questions? Oh, please. First, I'm going to get a drink. But you okay. Know, 
thinking piece. Emilio is much happier and yeah. he quacks at the waitress to bring you a drink. Quack. Yeah. So he doesn't, also, it, it's clear that he doesn't, he's never seen an Eric Cocker. His, right. his motives so, seem pure. I'm going to assume we're two have never even seen one around town that he's probably hasn't been through town. And honestly, I would ask about Perpetua, but I have no idea what she looks like. So I really can't ask about her. That's fair. Um, Do you want to go to Hypo's home? Who? Uh, no, nah, I'm going to skip the third one. Um, Probably no answers there. Good yeah, no, there's no answers there. So I'm going to go get a place to stay. <coughs> where are you uh, staying at? I know. I don't know where they stayed at. Which one's the I nice told you at the closet? You're at the closet. All right, you know, I'll go to the closet. How bad? How bad is the closet? It's cheap. That's fine. I'll go to the closet and I'll book a room. And I will cast prestidigitation to make sure it's not germy. Fine. Cast uh, anti-coronavirus. Back to Maniz. Maniz, uh, Ketchup Keat is got this thing locked down. She, you marvel at her ability to go ahead and handle this stupid bird. Uh, she even gets the bird to hand over a symbol of the, how do you pronounce that, Dewey? Narathian? Narathian? Yeah. How do you Oh the the god. Yeah. N N Naeth? Naeth, right? Let's go with Naeth. We like Naeth. Naeth. Uh, uh she has the Kenku produce the uh, symbol of Naeth and uh points out very grimly that that is where uh those dirty fucking gnomes killed her friends and she has no love. So the Kenku better give something up uh, or she is going to put him on a spit. Uh, go ahead and give me an insight check, Manise. Well, I think with a three, I have insight of nothing. You yourself are scared because <laughs> this bitch means business. I wouldn't, I would, I would listen. The Kenku says, we are seeking one of the gnomes. That is why we are here. And gives a vague description that you kind of recognize as your traveling companion, Dewey Dockamel. No. He's even described as the orphan. Yeah. So, so some of the know? guys I was with are still alive. Tell them that. Well, I tell her that. Oh, okay. Hmm. What do you think we should do with this wretched beast? Which one is she referring to? The the, the last Kenku. Yeah, not Dewey. She's not referring <laughs> to that. I'll tell you what we can do with fucking Dewey. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I think... I'm sorry, were we fucking Dewey? Because no. Dewey's not into that. He he likes books. He's not into bird stuff. <laughs> Um, I will watch. Being, being <laughs> <laughs> reality, folks. Remember, we're for mature audiences only. Uh, right. <laughs> uh, that being said, I don't think bestiality is on the bingo card. But tonight's uh, bingo winner uh, will get these. They're magnets. Ooh, they're very pretty. Oh, that's really? for tonight's and, and, bingo. And and, and and a personalized uh, uh, photo from Dewey showing him sodomizing a sheep. Nice. That's right. Very nice. So, Manish, she inquires, how would you and your cohorts handle this uh, renegade piece of filth? Well, I personally, being a servant of God, would like to grant, you know, to spare uh, a foe. However, my cohorts would, would just kill this person without even thinking. Excuse me. It's Give me a persuasion roll. Especially that fucking Dewey. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fucking murder you, Manise. <laughs> You're not there. You don't know. I know from you It'll joining those team. evil fucking gnomes from earlier. What you don't know is your artifact's been on that entire time messaging. <laughs> 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 you butt dialed, dialed Lucas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, she rubs her feathers. I will not despoil your deity worship. 
although I think your colleagues probably have it right. Oh, by all means, if you want to. Slices the bottom of the beak, uh, drawing some blood, and says, foul creature, leave for the next time I see you. I will own your skull around my belt. All right. And he scurries off. <laughs> Uh, over to Blake, uh, Perpetua, uh, you are dimensioning door. You are still quite a ways away. Are you running or walking? Okay. But and you saw, I did the math. I, I can only do seven with one second left over. I can't do nine. Okay. Cause okay. Got it. Yeah. Math, math is tricky. Kirby. Okay. Um, so well, I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe I can. It doesn't matter. Well, yeah, it's somewhere in there. As long, as I, but I'm, I'm booking it. Okay, that's fair. Uh, you don't have the ability to fly or anything like that, right? Well, hang on. How, what is my? What is my? <coughs> what level spell is fly? <laughs> it's second, I think. If it's second, then I'm flying. And how <laughs> long can you fly? Oh, fly is third. Fly okay. is third. Okay. No, I'm, I'm not. Okay, uh, so you're just humping. Yes. Perception check. Okay. Net 20. Excellent. You see two things. <laughs> to your right, you see another rabble dressed in dark grayish clothing similar to Antler Man. To your left, you see shining armor. Men on horseback. And with a nat 20, you recognize the guy leading that charge. It's Lord Bushnell. Uh, are they, do they appear to be in, engaging on a trajectory towards each other? They're just they all are hungry. zooming in towards Rourke. Do they seem oblivious of each the, other? The knights are, are focused in. The rabble is kind of looking behind waiting for Antler Man. This is the battalion from the east coming to meet the, the main war band, essentially. The north from Fink. Uh, yeah, whatever fucking direction. But this, this is a separate battalion. Coming e to, east is an entirely different I, mass I coming out. I don't, I don't give a shit what direction they're coming from. This is, but this is a different army coming to join up, like reinforce. Reinforcements, yes. Okay. Reinforcements from the south, Lord Bushmill from the north. Uh, dude, antler man behind you from the west. Shit's about to get real. Oh, but fortunately, okay. Lucas has a room. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm like, you know what? I, I really, really, really want to say, fuck it. I'm going. I'm going to uh, the port town. Yaddle. Yaddle. No, you'll. You're kind of stuck between yeah. the hammer and the yeah, anvil I, I, now. I, I, if I go, if I turn around now, I'm going to get into now. Seven. You can you can possibly hide or use stealth, but uh, Bushmill doesn't know Carlin. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to take my chances and just try and fucking talk my way out of it. If I get intercepted by them, I'm still going to work. Uh, right. Beeline. I'm trying to think if I can expedite that somehow. I don't think I can. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Uh, effectively, what I'll be doing is holding on to a misty step in case of an emergency. Oh, I'm sure there's not going to be an emergency. Oh, God damn it. Fuck. Fuck, okay. fuck, fuck. Uh, Manise, yes. I think the camera just got fucked up because people yes. keep talking to me and I keep freaking, problem is that something happens with the chat on this thing that screws up my camera. Uh-oh. So we're again. saying uh, we're That's fine. Keep... She's working on it. Uh, Manise, before <laughs> we go over to the trio, did you want to use that stone of sending or hold on to it for a while? Uh, would I be able, would I know if I would be able to reach them? Is there limitations on it? I'm not a hundred percent sure off the top of my, I'm asking is me not. Uh, catch up, 
cannot tell. She knows that she uh, has been able to speak with her associates when they split up before. A very unwise idea, she adds, but uh, circumstances dictated the necessity. I don't, I don't think it has a range because we found it in a crypt and it's kind of artifactish. And how often do you run across an artifact? Am I right, Maniz? Exactly. <laughs> um, no, I think uh, I think I'll hold off for the time being. What? Fair, fair enough. The trio, you guys are up. Lucas, uh, no bed bugs, no Corona, uh, nice sheets. Why are you still switching your camera, Taryn? <laughs> <laughs> Not yes, now. Taryn. Gosh. So All right, so. <laughs> It's okay. Just it's breathe. Fun. Just breathe. It'll be fine. <laughs> I really feel bad. I do. I feel. You should. Okay. Uh, what are you? What are you doing? What are we doing? So what is it? It's still at night, or, or is it? No, it, it's uh, it's late. Uh, how how much time has transpired though? Uh, you've got in your room. Uh, it's the better part of the day. You're probably looking at evening. Okay, cool. So my uh, wild shapes and stuff are back then. As a is, it, is it at least a? Is it at least? Is it a long rest yet? <laughs> a short rest. A short rest. Okay, I oh, think okay. I didn't have anything to reset, so I was fine. Dewey, what are you doing? Uh, if I've done everything, then um, I'm gonna talk to people to see if we can find. Uh, uh, Perpetua or just Pers Perpetua because Maniz is dead to me. How in the world are you going to He joined those gnomes and per betrayed me. Perception check. Sure thing. 17. You're being followed. By who? I'm not being sly about this. I just immediately turn around to see who's following me. D12. All right. Six. Oh, oh, off the table, but seven, unless you want me to roll in the box. Looks like it's a tiefling. I go up and talk to them. Why are you following me around? Who are you? Do we? Doc Amell? I'm a hero. <laughs> Shit, no, uh, I'm Stewie Stockamel. <laughs> so I'm bad. a cook. I'm renowned for my bone broths. Okay. Yeah, they're not going to believe that. <laughs> How do you know, Taryn, what are you again? Half elf? Uh, no, I, you guys are keeping me. It's, I'm a full blooded elf. I'm just two different kinds of elves. We're going with wood elf for this. Okay. Uh, are you. <laughs> How are you friends with the wood elf? Huh? Not you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, they're talking about me. Which, <sighs> which one? There's there. I that there's two of them. Yeah, I saw. Oh wait, is one a half elf? Two of us. So. The female. Wait. You are okay. Both wood elves. I thought you were a half elf for some odd reason. Terry. So did I, but oh well. In the beginning. She changed last second. She screwed. Yeah, she changed along with her cameras. <laughs> I've always been a. Here's a change, like it's Taryn. <laughs> so yeah, he wants honestly, to know. I don't know. They both kind of look the same. They don't have beards. Can you be a little bit more specific? <laughs> You're the one, one who was you traveling with my associate and left her for dead. <laughs> left my what? That sounds like something I would do. <laughs> <laughs> Taryn's oh, not a bad person. Your friend She's an awful left person. my friend to die. Little halfling, Cola. Wow. I've wow. never met this person. Evan's not throwing me under the bus. So I see how this is. Wait, I did not throw you under the bus. No, thank you. Because he he's never met Cola. Exactly. And I just said you're a wonderful person. But he's going to oh, ask her. Wow. Gonna, wow. Thanks. I, you know what? I'd like to change my answer. Yeah, hey. she's over there. You want me to help you kill her? <laughs> Don't let her talk, though. <laughs> Shoot her in the mouth. <laughs> you're not the DM, Dewey. I said the DM is throwing me under the bus, not you. Uh, Dewey, give me a persuasion check. Let's see if you can get Sprite. 
Uh, Taryn, roll perception for that bus, too. <laughs> what? <laughs> Everything but a nat one should tell you that the headlights are going to hit you. <laughs> hey, that was not nat one. That's that's two ones. It's an 11. Can I hear this conversation? Is it right no, up? he's out and about. Dewey, what'd you get? Uh, I rolled an eight, so that's a five. He doesn't believe you. <laughs> You've been traveling with her and the other one. Surely you know. I want to know how my friend came with the plague. I don't know your friend, but I only just saw Taryn yesterday. We thought she was a changeling. Actually, uh, it's the same day. Same day. It's the same day. Same day. That's right. We talked about what we were going to do for three days and then leave town, but we didn't actually do those three days. Correct. We're doing it's those the- right now. Right. I'm actually telling the person this <laughs> as doing. <laughs> The tiefling is unamused. You could ask her. Side note, Lucas, maybe you ought to read some of those books you found. I'm just saying that out of character. I I already have read all the books I found. So you know it's three, right? Oh, yeah, because one was about the cult of Sensua. Another one was about the rod of catching. But you know the rod is three parts, right? Yeah, and one part is in Battle Keep. Gotcha. Yeah. Go ahead, Dewey. If you like, I'll help you out with her. She's really nice, but I'll be on your side, Pinky Promise. I love it. E twelve. Nine. Ooh. Take me to her. I know where you went. You're probably well. I don't think I told you, but you know, Lucas went to the closet, and I didn't end up with you. You could probably reason that I went there since I I knew that's where he was. Yeah, let's go. Hey, classic son. And I use my pinky to haul the <laughs> tiefling around. And wow. if she tries to let go, I will crush it in my pinky. He. He. <laughs> he, he. So, Either way. Uh, you arrive at the closet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they've seen stranger things than a gnome dragging a tiefling in by his pinky. <laughs> I'm I'm somehow offended, but I don't know how. <laughs> I somehow am turned on, but don't know how. Go ahead, Dewey. Seduction. How are you going to handle this mess? Oh, I just bring him in and I look for uh, Taryn. I'm probably in my room, man. Um, the, the innkeeper, can I help you to the bridal suites occupied at this time? <laughs> I'm looking for Taryn. She is a wood elf. I thought she was a half elf. Her ears are a little bit rounder than most wood elves I happen to know. I don't know why, but uh, definitely. Thank you. Is she actually in there, by the way? Yeah. You want to knock? Oh, no. I was asking the bartender. (laughs) The innkeeper? Yes. I haven't seen her leave. I'm sorry. When I play D&D, I like to think that the bar... (laughs) <laughs> and the N is all actually one same thing. Yeah. I'm explaining this to the audience because it's my always my understanding. So I apologize. Frank likes to keep them separated. I don't know why. If I'm drunk, I want to go straight upstairs to my bedroom. That's why. It's just me. <laughs> anyway. I have, I, I, hey, sometimes I have it where it's both and sometimes it's separate. So, so yeah, you can go up to room seven and see if Taryn's there. Okay. I go up to room seven, hauling the tiefling behind with my pinky, and knock on the door. Taryn, there's a knock at your door. Oh, Lord. And do no- Lucas. Do Lucas. <laughs> hey, do, do, do I hear this right now in the hall, from the hallway? From my room, I mean. You are right next door. Or actually, you're right across the hall. So, yeah, you hear some knocking. Is oh, there, cool. Is there I open the door to see what it is. Or- <laughs> hey, Mr. DM. Yes. Is there any way to look out without opening the door? No, key- peepholes have not been invented. When yet. Lucas opens the door, I say, Hi, Lucas. Hey, you recognize you the voice here. of Dewey Docamel. Now, now, glory holes, on the other hand, there is one of those. They're, yeah, they have been invented there. Yeah, it's uh, the whole thing to be a lot lower than it normally for- would be. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys are all going to be at the glory hole by the time both armies arrive. <laughs> 
Uh, Taryn, you recognize the familiar voice of Dewey Dacamel. You also hear Lucas reciprocate in his greeting, so you can safely assume it's Dewey yeah. Dacamel. I'll open the door because I... There's a giant fucking tiefling standing there. Why? Now there are you, friends. You know why. Tell me why. And hey, you, hey, be nice. Be nice. I am being nice. Talking? I'm not turning her to flame. Tell oh, me oh, why. Oh, 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 oh. Go. What are you talking Tell about? me why ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Uh, why did you leave Pula to die? See, my, my first instinct was it was went to any Lennox, not not Beto. I agree with Blake. Uh, he wants to know why you left Cola to die. Uh, I didn't. She left me. Why would she, she leave you if she was sick? She ran off. I do not know. I sent her away when the center is. You got her addicted to meth. Oh, now hold on, hold on. Now you sent her away when the centaurs left. Robotess. Go to the apothecary to get some more cough syrup, but that was it. Steps back and kind of covers himself. Are you a carrier? I don't think so. I'm not sick. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I've been traveling with her. I've tried to stay out of range of her cough. And I cast prestidigitation plenty of times a day. Uh, give me a persuasion. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Lucas, are you standing out in the hall with these guys? I'm standing oh, in the doorway oh. right now, okay, ready to enough. close the door just in case. Yeah, that's really good. That's a 27. So do you call her a friend or just yeah. use her and throw her away? Oh, I called her a friend until she stole my flute. Well, I mean, technically you call every hooker a friend while they're fucking you. <laughs> so, oh, girl. Why did I have to bury her? Escort. Oh, thank God that the last of the midgets Companion. is dead. Companion. Wait, 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 wait. She's dead already? Yes, I had to bury her well, uh, an hour or so ago. I took her slender body in my rough, rugged arms and carried her out of town and buried her in her possessions. And because she got, of in, bed, you, she got in bed with the local alchemist. <laughs> because of you, I, <coughs> because of you, I close the door now. <laughs> <laughs> because of you, my heart is broken and I want to know why. She ran away from me. I did not. I, I couldn't find her. I looked. Throw her under the bus, Dewey. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, you were very excited about finding us, so we didn't what, exactly. What did you do that would make her want to run away I, from you? I remember, I talked to you guys, but then I said I went and checked, looked in the apothecary, and she wasn't there. But I did actually look for her. No, no, you were looking for your flute to see if she hocked it. Yeah, well, Tara, I was looking for her, you know. Sprite. Looks at you intently. I freaking rolled a 20. I never forget. Points at you and starts to speak. Um, Hi, my knees. So, what do you want to do now? <laughs> nice. Um, do I see what's going on in Fulton? Because I know I'm outside of it. <laughs> yes, actually, you do. You see no bronze dragon. You see the long lines of refugees at the main gate. And you see the construction of some kind of raised platform in the center square. Oh, somebody's dying. Um. Meanwhile, uh, Ketchup is using the dead feathers of the kinku she slayed and cleaning off her blade. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to uh, loot the bodies or at least see if there's anything worth looting. Fair enough. Each one of them has a small silver symbol from Nathan. Nate, Nate, Nate. The see, I shouldn't use Nyeth. Nyeth. I shouldn't use random shit, but oh well. You really Nyeth. If, if you're going from the Egyptian god, it's me. If I'm a shrubber, it's neat. <laughs> no, 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 then it's neat. And then you're Tim. Icky, 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 bang someone. <laughs> so, please, uh, she says, well, I'm hungry after all that killing. Shall we go down and get some food? Yeah, you know what? That uh, that sounds like a fantastic idea. 
Excellent. Uh, let's go down there. Uh, we can check on the wanted posters. I hear they're looking for somebody. Okay, that he works takes for flight me. in all of her magnificence, swoops down low, passes in between two guard towers. Guards in either tower are like them some big old bird titties. <laughs> and uh, you following behind, they just kind of look at you, but uh, and you land in the tavern district. All right, we'll go in and uh, I'll, I'll ask if she knows any good places to eat. If she's, I know a to- great place. It's run by a former military guy. You're, you're gonna love this. It's called Colonel Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> so we're cannibals. All right, let's do it. Harlan uh, Sanders was never actually in the military, and there are plenty of birds of prey that eat other birds. He was Southern, so he had to be in the military. He just couldn't admit his Confederacy roots. Uh, it's a uh, pork joint. It's a barbecue pit. You're looking good, huh? And it, it smells great. Uh, apparently, she knows a few people in here, uh, which causes you some kind of puzzlement. Uh, and the more you hang around with her, do you have any questions to ask her? Um, how long have you been here? I've been here about two weeks. Okay. And um, did she ask me about the plague? I can't remember. Uh, she did not. Okay. Um, have you heard about this this plague and or or you know what's going on with that? I heard that some adventurers were responsible for it, but quite honestly, I don't see that happening. Uh, you mean I don't see that happening? <coughs> oh no, she doesn't. She doesn't have a cough yet. Yeah. Was it? Was it your your friends? My fr- no, we hell, I just got here. My friends never came to Sedellis. I came here after uh, their slaughter, seeking to uh, find answers. I have not heard anything from the academy. Yeah, neither neither did we before. Well, at least before I got separated. Yeah, I understand that the cult of Sensua has something to do with this mess, and I would believe that more than I would believe adventurers are responsible for it. Oh, most certainly. I mean, most certainly. Think about it. Some of our classmates, complete dumbasses. Yeah, Idiots. especially that Dewey. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that gnome. That guy's a dick. <laughs> Fucking gnomes. <laughs> yeah. I will, I will never forgive the gnomes. Uh, somebody oh, comes God. up and greets her. Uh, it appears to be a human. Uh, leans in close and whispers something to her. And she's like, oh, that's interesting. Thank you. The individual leaves. She orders some food. Uh, any recommendations on food? Oh, the fat back here is delicious. I don't know what he does. Marinates it. It does the beak good. It's people. I'll take the same thing. Very good. You guys uh, gather your food. Uh, go pick out a table right in the center of the fucking bar for some reason. A uh, couple people. You know, give her the old hello sign. Uh, clearly, she's very charismatic and charming. Uh, and she asks you, so, which, uh, which job did you land getting out of the academy? Uh, cleric, right? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> first, first task. Oh, we had to go to a volcano. A volcano? What'd you have to or do an, there? An island. Oh, geez, I can't remember. Frank, it's been too long. That was the very <laughs> Remember, from folks, the when you're playing in a campaign, it's best to just disregard Chris. those stupid <laughs> ideas like <laughs> concept. <laughs> Chris, that was the bear, that was the berry delivery. Yeah. And then our second task was uh go put the evil back <laughs> to revive the headmaster. <laughs> First level, everything else. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, you guys we were did supposed stuff. To an bears. island exploded. We had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Have you been back to the academy? No. Before or after the sickness. Mm. Uh, some days I wonder how the grandmaster's doing. He was 
It's like a father to me. <laughs> I, I, bet, I, I, bet, I bet he was also very, very uh, flashy. <laughs> flashy or flashy? No, I'm, I'm thinking about Grandmaster Flash. Uh, Perpetua, you notice that the uh, shining examples of knighthood on horseback are outdistancing you rather significantly, while the shit bags behind you uh, seem to be taking their own sweet time. Could, could I have gotten at any point, could I have gotten fairly close to the writers? No. No? No. You are uh, the rose between two thorns. Okay. Um, so you can yeah. see on the horizon as the sun starts to dip, uh, they're headed in there. I want headed. to start making as loud a commotion as possible <coughs> to try and draw one of their attention. I don't care if I draw the attention of the others as well, but I want, I want to try and get them focused this way. Because if I'm in between them, I'm assuming that they're, hang on, before, before we do this, my logistics are, if I'm in between the two groups, if I cause a commotion, then they'll see each other because they haven't seen each other yet. Potentially. Okay. That's, that's, my, that's my intention. I will roll two for perception on both. Orange being uh, Lord Bushmill, Copper, or Bronze being the other. Like, I'll do a thunderclap or something as, as, a, <laughs> as a cantrip. I can do one of them. Sure, go ahead. I, I, or what, like anything, anything to make as much of a commotion as possible. They rolled a three and a four. So, well, fuck. The likelihood of that, if they hear anything, they're going to assume. Now, if I was trying to stay out of their eyesight, I would, I could, I couldn't do it to save my life. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, you estimate that you will be in town. Maybe an hour after them, so right around 10, 11, uh, and you estimate uh, that the group, who seems to have grown in numbers behind you, is probably going to be there at midnight. Okay, so about a 12-hour interval? One-hour interval. You're going there in the middle of the night. Oh, they're going okay. okay. to arrive 9, 30, 10. You're going to get there around 11. Uh, the other group's going to get there around midnight. Gotcha. Okay. It's about to get real. Okay. Uh, and you do I, have the I, amulet. I, I, I want to right? just keep up that pace then. Uh, give, me, give me a con check because you've been yeah. humping it. No, that's that's fair. Uh, that's – let's see here. That's going to be check or save? Check. Uh, that's a straight 15 then. You're going to be tired when you get there, but, you know, shit happens. Uh, you, you are still covering the distance between your followers, so you should be okay. I, I, I will, will say that, we'll say that I would have taken a – I think Carlin was a little on the short side. We'll say I would have assumed the, the, the shape of someone a little taller so that I'm not having to do docks and, docks and runs. Gotcha. Uh, back to Lucas, Taryn, and Dewey. It's dinner time in uh, town. Uh, and your tummies are starting to grumble. The tiefling. Wait, what did, what's his face have to say? <laughs> the tiefling. Stop. What? He was about to say something to me. He yeah. was, but he held his tongue. So he said, Oh, he just shook his finger. Okay. I'll try. He said, I. Hey, hey Manise, have you I figured out that her don't friend you think that that maybe... is responsible for the plague yet? <laughs> Don't you think maybe Cola should be buried with her stuff since we have her bag? Yeah. And Taryn should have her stuff back? I buried uh, I buried my friend with the items that she had. Guess we'll be going at, at, at old broken knee. So well, um where you is see the how these bags are site. easily so, to be mixed up. Yeah, actually actually hold on. Where where is this gravesite so I can pay my res my, my 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 respects. I absolutely want to do that too. Anyway. <laughs> Insight <I do>. checks. <laughs> I, want to, she gets, I want to bury her stuff too. That's her stuff. No, no, no. I just want to pay my respects. No, I. Some of the stuff is, you know, I still have her bag, and I'm like, this yeah, is we her have bag. her bag. There was a box in the bag that we should probably. No, wait, not the box, but everything else she needs to be buried with. And the yellow potion. That was mine. Box. 
Oh uh, yeah, yeah, Cola had a box with it, but it turns out it was our box. Yeah, she, she somehow stole it. It was your box. That's yeah. what she hopped at the alchemists instead of the flute. He, he reaches into his vest and he starts to pull out a sheaf of papers. What? Can I see what kind of papers he's sheafing through? Well, there's a wanted poster. Uh, there's a potion of or uh, a parchment of information. Uh, there's his birth certificate and social security card, just in case he gets it. And Can I see I'll, that one? Uh, no, my mother's <laughs> maiden name, wanted, not Simpson. Uh, the wanted, he's, got, he's, he's got life lock. The fourth one he seems to ponder on. <laughs> what you looking at? I'm tall enough. Can I see it? And can I see what the one poster is? Are, are you just going to pull it down? <laughs> You're heightest, you know that? Actually, can, can I peek over the tiefling's shoulder and see? Because yes, I'm behind? Y- yes, you can You can peek over the tiefling's shoulder. What do I see? What does it say? Uh, it is a reward poster. Reward for what? A magical box. Ooh. No, we can't give that up. Hmm, interesting. I will so, keep this uh, information to myself. So you say she had a box with her? No, she stole a box. Yes, the same box that every woman has, right between her legs. <laughs> so where is the box now? We should probably bury it with her. Um, yeah, I, I agree. I, I stand say, by my assertion that you already did. I, I, I agree. We should bury this box with her. I think this box is with this person named um, Lord Bushmill. Um I, I don't know if you happen what? to know this person. But yes, I, think I Lord... know Lord Bushmill. Oh, yeah. So the last person that I saw having this box was a Lord Bushmill. Go ahead and roll a just straight up D20. If you roll a 19 or 20, I'll tell you something. Otherwise, you don't know. Can it be a... De- oh, actually, I don't get a bonus deception. So straight up, seven. Okay. Lord Bushmill has the box. But he, um, he don't. He doesn't have the box. We haven't seen him since the burning of the town. Well, what your town associate we? just said that he has the box. He's got the box. Sure, why not? I don't have the box. He doesn't have the box. He said Lord Bushmill has the box. I'll reinforce this. We I'm haven't seen the, the what? Rather, Lucas just admitted that Lord Bushmill had the box. Yeah, and and, and when the tiefling's not looking, I give a wink to Dewey. Do we I see if I know what he's talking about? <laughs> Lucas is hitting on you. <laughs> hey, I yeah, I think he is. I want to add 22 deception to support what um, what Lucas said. Okay. Yeah, get the box. Well, Wait, ter- how, about, uh, how about we go over to the uh, grave site and you guys can pay your respects? Oh, sounds good. Let's go do that. Lead oh, on, my friends. I uh, do know we just want to dig her up and get her stuff back and give her her stuff back, right? Right. right. So I'm going to go back into the room to grab the backpack. I've did you just admit that to the tea plate? I, I think he did. <laughs> <laughs> How big is that box, by the way? It's going to be awkward if I'm carrying a shovel to go pay the respects. <laughs> I'm, pro, I'm sure. The gnomish I, way. I'm sure right. it can turn into something that can dig. Um, Surely no, someone can shape how, big, how big is the box? I, I actually honestly don't know. Is it is it small? It, 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 it's about the size of a cigar box. Okay. Um, all right. So basically, I've already put the box in with my own stuff. Um, and I'll take out the potion. I'll Did put that in. Did you purchase a new bag? I don't know. Did she get the whole bag? Yes. I have some st- all right. Then everything in my bag is officially missing. Uh, because I wondered that, and you didn't really give me an answer of what's missing. <laughs> but I have my weapons. I have my armor. Okay, so I will... Hmm. Tough one. It, is this tiefling out of whispering range? Can I whisper to Dewey without the tiefling hearing? He's standing in the middle of all three of you. Oh, I thought we had started heading towards the You were, you were behind him. No, she went inside to go get the bag. Yeah, I'm going to get the bag and I'll say, all right, fine. The box is still in the bag. I'm going to just grab the whole thing. Fair I'm enough. Hand. I do lead kinda. the way, please. If you're okay. With you, want, you want me to lead? I can yes, lead. Please, no, we no, don't no. know where the gravesite's at. Uh, he heads uh, down the hallway towards the stairs. Who's I, behind? I, you're kind of an idiot, aren't you? As I'm right behind him. You're right behind him? Yeah. 
Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not a. <coughs> Whack him a... on the back as high as I can reach. Uh. Do not hit me. Oh, you were coughing. I was trying to help. Do not touch me. Step back. Would you like the pinky again? No, I do not want your pinky again. Well, technically, I had your pinky, but okay. Anyway, yeah, after you, you... You were touching him in close proximity. Social contact shrunk. I'm not the one social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he heads down and he gets halfway down the stairs, stops, spins around, and grips his weapon. Well, that's going to be that box from you three. Everybody initiative. We Fuck. are in a tavern, right? No, you're in an inn in the stairwell. Same well, damn difference. That was a bad initiative. This 30, is where the prostitutes are negotiating. Eight. Lucas and Taryn? Okay. I only got a seven. Uh, Dewey, you are prepared for just such an event. Uh, you don't like his tone at all. I jump on top of him and topple down the stairs with him. I will do a strength check. <laughs> Feel free. Good luck. 27. Uh, 19 plus four, 23. Uh, you both fall backwards down the stairs and you both take... Three hit points of damage. Okay. I will then uh, grapple him so he's restrained. Uh, well, first off, neither one of us will be doing shit. Lucas okay. and Taryn. Uh, Tar or Lucas, you had an eight. Taryn had the seven. You're up. You see Dewey jump on the back of this dude for some reason. Oh, whoa. hey, hey, hey. He turned around to face us, drawing his weapon. Um, cool. Yeah. Since this is a tiefling, I'm not going to use my fire attack. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to use my... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What color tiefling is he? I don't normally see color, but in this instance... Sounds like you're a racist. <laughs> he was, he was, he was like a dark purple. He's a red, a red tiefling. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to use my frostbite cantrip. Fair um, enough. so I need a DC, uh... 15 constitution save. 16 plus constitution is plus two, so 18. Uh, on a failed save, target takes. What about. Oh, man. Okay, so nothing. It was no damage. Taryn, you're up. Um, Jeez, I don't. I mean, he's on the ground now, right? Yep, they're both at the bottom of the stairs. I draw my crossbow and point it in his face and be like, stand down. And I mean, I guess I could try to make intimidation. So Lucas, were you ahead of her? Yes, I was eight. And she yeah, was you're, good luck on your intimidation. You're standing behind the elf, but go ahead. Oh, can I get around him or is there not enough room? No, nah, it's one person there. They're on the floor of the main office. God is telling him to stand down. I mean, you could shoot the crossbow over my shoulder, probably. Yeah, I, I would say yes. Yeah. Behind the stairs. No, I wasn't going to shoot. I could shoot him to <clears throat> miss. Just shoot. Just shoot. shoot. Basically, I'm trying to intimidate. I want to intimidate him to stand down. Um, intimidate at disadvantage, then. Hey! Hey! Well, hey! you know what? <laughs> Rest the crossbow on Lucas's head so you can get a better shot. Right can between I... his legs, sideways, gangster style. Do it that way. <laughs> the bolt falls out. Lucas, <laughs> don't get excited. That's on Bar behind. Barred into hood. Oh, man. So it's on behind um, Luke, uh, Lucas. Can I? This is going to. This is just such a bad idea. I'm going to just do it at disadvantage. That's all. Because I think shooting the crossbow is a warning, like a warning shot. It's probably not a good idea. I was idea. hoping you'd do it and roll a one and kill the innkeeper. <laughs> oh, that that no. wasn't supposed to be a warning uh, shot. That was I thought you meant like shoot the crossbow. No, but he's going to take out my crossbow and put it in his face and say, stand down. Oh. 
I'm drunk. No, that's, that's very intimidating. Stand down. Unfortunately, yeah, it, it, this advantage just killed no, that. No, 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 no. Do, do it in your flattest <laughs> voice. Tell him a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you hear about the guy who moved when I had a crossbow pointed at him? He was okay. He stood. He stood down. <laughs> what is it? I, that's only. That's only a flipping nine intimidation. That's that's fair. He's not intimidated. Dewey, you're up. I don't want to uh, kill. Him. Now I'm going to grapple him so he's just forced onto the floor. Magic Dremel to the eye. <laughs> I start carving a D into his forehead. <laughs> this steer's owned by Dewey. <laughs> I, I rolled a three on the grapple check. Okay. Yeah, so he's just now stuck on the ground. So Dewey is doing his best uh, World Wrestling Federation move, and you hear Sprite say, Get the fuck off me, asshole. I already told you don't touch me once, and now you're on top of me. Get the fuck off. You're Look fucking up. attack, you dick. Actually, Dewey won initiative, and he jumped on the guy. Okay. <laughs> he hi. made a threatening motion before that. <laughs> he Lucas, turned around, L- Lucas, drew his weapon, <laughs> and then you said roll initiative. Yep. Which Lucas, means you're up. I was faster than he could shank me in and, the and face. And he also said, I'm going to be needing that box from you. So, um, <laughs> Dewey, you're, you're grappling this person, right? And he is you're prone immobilized. on the ground. <laughs> he is prone. So you'll have advantage if you want to hit him. Oh, yes. I'm going to attack with my sword. Um, so that is a... I, I think 13, you mean your, your bear to sword? A what? 13 to hit. That hits. Really? He's okay. a wizard. Oh, well, that was seven damage with my magical sword. Taryn, shit's going downhill. What do you want to do? So we're attacking him now, huh? Two oh, of them is. are. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa. You're holding him down. Restraining. Thank you. I would friggin' try charm person, but we've already friggin' attacked him. I don't think. To be fair, he attacked us first. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so- well, you know that. You just want to keep making up excuses why he should get away. Oh and if no! You keep I, I doing know what, it. I'm going to murder him. I know what I know what should happen to him. I want to see if you guys do it. But yeah, you are in a narrow stairwell. Go ahead. You're up there. Uh, yeah, you know what? If, I do not it, expect him to live. Period. If it's going down like this, I, I'm going to cast a fairy fire on him, make a dex save, which I believe he's grappled, right? So is that disadvantage? It's a disadvantage. Yes. Uh, will gonna... that blind Dewey holding him down? No, but I have to make the save, too. I rolled a 17. Uh, double 15s, and what am I... Oh, fuck, really? Yeah. Two 15s, you jerk. That, that makes it. It's dex 15. We, we trust you, Frank. We can't see yeah, it. Okay, camera. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no. I'll, no, I trust you. I trust you. That's just a really annoying. Trust, but verify from the Reagan era. Nah, that was a Russian Sorry. fan. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he, he makes a save. Dewey, did you make it? Oh, yeah, 17. It. Okay. Uh, Dewey, top of the order. Uh, Lucas has just shanked this fucker. I'm going to start screaming about how you tried to rob us and I'm going to start choking him out. (laughs) Fair enough. Uh, Would you like me to roll something? (sighs) Let's do constitution rolls against each (laughs) other. Uh, If I lose... Strength versus constitution? I'll let you do do strength. I'll do constitution. Uh, If I lose three, I'll go unconscious. Okay. Uh, First roll. Nat 20. 14. Okay. So you don't have my Adam's apple. Uh, can I do hellish rebuke on you? For laying uh, on? If he does damage, he can do hellish rebuke. Uh, yeah, he didn't do damage. Only Lucas has. Uh, Lucas, you're up. Yay, I swing my sword again. Oh, hang on a second. Let me see if I can break Dewey's grapple. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, that's a 10, so I doubt it. 15. 
Okay. I am still <laughs> grappled, Lucas. Go ahead. I rolled shit. Okay. I attack with my sword again. And that is a... At advantage. 24 to hit. Oh, And easy. then damage is nine with my magic. Then you could Hellish Rebuke. Um, is that one melee? So I would say, yeah. Yeah, I'll do Hellish Rebuke on you. Okay. Now, I wonder if that would affect Dewey. No. No. Okay. So it, just it, it, point it's a very the it's other a direct, person says like, fire. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, four hit points of damage, Lucas. What type of damage? Fire. <clears throat> okay, cool. Uh, Taryn, things are getting ugly. Um, I tell him a joke. I'm going <laughs> to... They get vicious. I get vicious mockery, which is not exactly... A, it's sort of a joke. Um, first thing I'm going to say as a free action is going to be a... Try not to kill... Because <laughs> reasons... Okay, I'll uh, try not to kill. Sure. Then I am <laughs> going to try vicious mockery. Um, God, what the hell can I freaking... I need like a list of vicious mockeries. I'm terrible. As we all know, I am terrible coming up with it. Google your mama joke. <laughs> <laughs> did, you you hear the one, did you hear the one about the tiefling that didn't get his racks off for a month and a half? He was perpetually horny. Uh, <clears throat> Your bad. next saving throw is at disadvantage. <laughs> so, like, you're the worst bounty hunter I've ever come across. You couldn't even find your toes with your boots off. Uh, make a DC, make a DC 15 wisdom save. Do I get advantage on that piss poor offer? I don't think that was bad, okay? Uh, no, 10 plus uh, 1, 11. So I fail. How much damage? <laughs> Well, you take okay, so it's one d four psychic damage, and you get. Um, wait, wait, what level are you, Taryn? So well, I would, I'm. I don't feel like this guy is worth me blowing like anything no, more. No, it's a, it's a cantrip. Your damage should. Your damage dice should be. Oh, wait. Uh, oh it's two d four. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's two d four. You're right. It is higher because it's right. Cantrips automatically. Uh, that's pretty good. So that's yeah. That's four points of damage. And you have disadvantage on your next, uh, I believe, your next attack. Dewey, up to you. Um, I'm, again, going to keep trying to choke him out. Uh, I'm not muted. I'm good. No, I, I was looking at whether or, or do not you want me to punch him in the face to knock him out. Do you have a preference, Frank? No, I, I, I was actually reading the cave bear comment. Uh, no, either one. Which do you want? I'll choke him out. Oh, that's a four. <laughs> that's a 19. Okay, so I am choking. Uh, let's see if I can break your grapple, which I doubt. Uh, I'm going to roll a disadvantage since you are choking me. Uh, nine and a 14, so that wouldn't... 30. Uh, Lucas, you're up. Yeah, I'm going to slash with my sword again. Poke a bitch. Um, and that is a, an 18 to hit. Uh -huh. And that is six more damage with my sword. Oh. oh As I choke him out, I'd also like to say that Dewey is yelling, We pinky promised! Uh, Lucas, it appears as though you have caught his aorta as the blood pool underneath him oh. elongates. And <laughs> Before the blood soaks through the paper, I pull all the papers out. He's a Dewey. Uh, he no longer is struggling. Is he, he dead? Dewey. Can I, I try to him? stop the bleeding? I, sure. can, I can heal him, man. I can heal him. I have, or heal uh, him. Do that too. I'll do healing word. I'll just do first level to stop the bleeding. Can you heal someone who's dead? He, he wouldn't have gone all the way. He wouldn't have doubled all the way around. He's not dead. Oh, he's not? No, you gotta you gotta double the hit points. It's so take difficult eight, to kill people take, in this game. Take eight points back. Well, uh, Dewey, he's it. fighting again. <laughs> why, why did you heal our enemy? I don't get it. I didn't necessarily want him to die, but we're not trying to kill him. You're up, Dewey. Uh, continue to choke him out. Uh, Nineteen. And a seven. <laughs> 28. 
I'm, hang on. How, how, how hard does your strength roll have to be to snap his neck? <laughs> yeah, you could kill him. Do I we am uh, proficient. grapple? I am not. <laughs> 16 plus nothing. Trying to break your grapple. 16. Trying to break the grapple. Uh, no, not even close. That is two failed chokings. Uh, Lucas, you're up. Okay, out of character, really quick. Did I miss something? Uh, why are we not? Why are we trying to keep this person alive? Taryn doesn't we're want to be murder hobos. With that's, that's that's a character decision. Oh, okay. She well, then I'm just milking for info. Yeah. I, I'm still gonna hack with the sword then. Um, I attack and <laughs> can I attempt to hit? <laughs> attempt to intercept or something? Uh, that that no, was you're doing this. Yeah, that was no. oh, eleven damage. And I'm picturing so picture him with his nose wrapped around him. Well, all you had to do is forget. I just, I just look at the guy. I just look at him. And go. All you had to do is just fucking stay down and surrender, you at asshole. Everybody, perception check. Uh, Nineteen. Net twenty. Uh, everyone. Are Eighteen. Just uh. 22. All three of you notice the innkeeper. Oh, hello, innkeeper. This person just fell down the stairs. He attacked us. Yeah, attacked us. Uh huh. Um, he was and, and rob us. What, while, while I uh, glance over the innkeeper, I, I just go down to loot the tiefling. <laughs> I, I grab the, make sure I grab those papers as well. He asks Taryn if he was robbing you, why did you heal him and then kill him again? And the whole saw that. Yeah. I'm afraid uh, this causes a problem. How much of a problem? Lucky for him, Lord Bushmill is here right now. Not not (laughs) quite yet. How much money you got? And well. I happen to have this uh, coin purse of gems I have recently found, which I am not sure how much it's worth. 103 gold pieces. Uh, Wait, are you seriously threatening us when we just did that to him? Oh, Taryn, stand down. Stand down. (laughs) (laughs) Here's the the coin purse of gems. Hold, Hold on. I am interested. Go on, Taryn. <laughs> <laughs> By all means, plead I, your case. Please, Murderers. <laughs> Basically, I'll go, I seriously have had enough shit today. Me too. So we take this money, please. Billy, Fuck it. Bring, bring the tarp in. <laughs> and he, oh, so takes, he takes the bag of gems. All right, cool. Thanks. I, Over I, to I, my I knees. My knees. Wait, okay. real fast. Yes. Where's Cola buried with Terran's shit? Oh, I, you're asking the dead guy? <laughs> no, I'm asking the people who murdered the dead guy, which is the reasons <laughs> we were not I killing I him. I don't want him to die, you know? <laughs> now, let's continue on to Maniz. Maniz, uh, your new friend, Ketchup, leads across the table and he goes, so... What do you think of the speech tomorrow? Speech? What speech? General there, Io. There's the, there's the state of the continent. General Io is uh, slated to speak tomorrow. They believe he's going to close the city down. Oh, okay. I, I, because of the, the, the plague that's going around, I imagine? That, and he doesn't want these riffraff coming in. Well, I mean, I look forward to it. I'm kind of curious to see as to what's going to happen. Hmm. Well, we'll see. I don't like that guy. I met him earlier in the week, and he just rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> no, you guys have the box. <laughs> that would have been fucking awesome, though. <clears throat> he looks like a he looks like a carrot. Uh, Maniz, uh, after a little bit of small talk, you don't seem to find out anything else other than General Io is the commander of the forces for the Southlands. Uh, 
you know that the Kenku were associated with the gnomes. And that is about all you gather from her. Uh, did you want to get a room and <laughs> uh, get a room and or use the artifact? Get a room and catch up. Um, <laughs> I will get a room, not necessarily to catch up, but get a room. Wow. Really, and... Maniz? You're going to hit that. I'm going to get some of that cloaca action, man. <laughs> At least, At least feathers and squawking. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're going to hit catch up? Well, no. Like, I mean, ah, just get a no, room. No, no, it's, she... it's, it's tap that, not hit that. Hit that is aggressive. Ah, that's true. Exactly. That's a whole different show. She may be into um, that. Yeah, well, you never know. Yeah. Um, no, you. I mean, I'll, I'll ask if if she wants to get her own room, if she wants to split a room. I, I mean, I don't know how rooms work. You have two beds, one Just bed. Just say I you're gay. Don't let you sleep with them. It's fine. Uh, uh, go ahead and give me uh, <laughs> D20. Add your charisma. <laughs> uh, charisma. So that'll be a 14. She rolled a 19. She says, thought maybe we could catch up a little bit. I get we'll it. get a room. And I Go, throw... Frank, Frank's a, doing seduction, know. everyone. Seduction. Frank's doing seduction. I got Mark that bingo. on the bingo card. <laughs> Mark that on the bingo card. Seduction. Uh, uh, yeah. She, uh, she graciously accepts your offer to... Uh, Purchase the room and you guys knock eggs or whatever the fuck you guys do. Uh, knock talons. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> yikes. Uh, <laughs> Oka Perpetua. Uh, off in the it's distance. the most aggressive thing you've ever seen. Now, is it like a duck's penis where it's a corkscrew? I'm just, I'm just amazed. Just that Peg She's pegging him. Just look at the picture I put in the <laughs> chat. She has a strap on at and that utensil. Again. She's going to scabbard the shit out of him. Uh, Perpetua, as you're humping your way towards town, off in the distance, you hear bells a ringing. And it seems to coincide with probably Lord Bushmill's arrival. These are celebratory bells or, or heralding bells, not warning bells. These would be heralding bells. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm going to go find Snoopy and the Red Baron. Okay. It's going to take you about 45 no, no, minutes. No, no. So, so am I, I'm, I'm, I'm headed to, that was, that was, never mind. That was an obscure fucking joke that I wasn't even funny. Um, Hold on. Taryn, you want to write that one down? Use it next time. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, so straight to town. Uh, can I, is like, is there a, a the, Gate blocked, fortified guards. How how do I get in? How do I get in here? There's no gate. There's no okay, fence. Okay, then yeah, go go straight to. Uh, I I follow the smell of horse shit and try and find this cadre of troops. Fair enough. Should be easy. It was a large contingent. Okay. Investigation. What what what? Or or do I? I I'm successful. I found where they're at. Oh yeah, it should be a piece of cake. Okay, follow I, the dead body. I, 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 I go. I'm, I'm fuck it. Who the fuck am I? Fuck it. I'm right perpetual. Now kid. No, no, yeah, I know. I'm like no. Fuck it. I'm perpetual now. Like before I got to town, I'm perpetual. Okay. Yeah, we already established that they can't see me when I'm trying to get their attention. They see Correct. me change. They see me change. Um, Unless they have a gem of seeing. Well, yeah, whatever. I'm perpetual. I go. I, I run up to Bushmill and I. The sheriff is near. <laughs> Uh, just okay. frant frantically, frantically, no time to explain. Fucking, uh, <clears throat> there. Uh, I do, you. I don't know how you missed it, but there's a there's a, a large contingent of of undead headed this way. We have to evacuate the town. Investigation to find him. Okay. Persuasion, if you. That's a seventeen plus four twenty one investigation. Persuasion is. Also, a 17 plus 6, so that's a 23. Uh, you, and I'll give a little slap on my band. 
your uh, your investigation finds him, but he is currently in a tent filled with his commanders. The guards say, "Oh, what do you want?" I, I I'll tell him the fucking message. I'll shout it at the top of my fucking lungs. I don't I don't give a shit. Fair enough. Uh, where? How many? Who's leading them? And who the fuck are you? A fuck ton. Uh, I don't, uh, coming from the opposite direction that you were coming from, uh, I don't know who's leading them, but they're undead. Is that ever a good thing? We'll pass along your message. And I, and, and tell him that that comes from the person that killed his son. Ooh. I'm sorry. Say that again for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that got his attention. <laughs> oh my God! They confirmed the last part. What? I said I got that information from the person who killed his son. <laughs> <laughs> Persuasion. Discovery, <laughs> man. Oh God. That's gonna be twenty-three. Uh huh. Now, a uh, very important perception check. 13. Hmm. Uh, Lucas, Taryn, and Dewey. Uh, you don't know where the fucking body's buried. Um, is there, have... is there a graveyard in town somewhere? Because that logically would be where it'd be. Well, the people said asking? that they carried Cola out of the town. Can I do a Sherlock Holmes investigation of the mud on his boots? <laughs> sure, Basil, go ahead. Yes. Uh, investigation or it's what? DC thirty? Huh? <laughs> it's DC thirty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> go. Ahead. You know what? Go ahead. I'll, I'll allow this. Twenty-five. Pretty Not D twelve against me. Come on. Seven. Eight. Uh, it appears as though it's moist. Moist. Mm. Has it been raining lately? It has I, not. There's a stream or a moist <clears throat> spot nearby. Who are you asking? The Billy, the guy keeper? throwing the body on the tarp. The GM. <laughs> We, we, we looked at the tiefling first, right? We got that the papers and stuff? Okay, good. Lord Bushmill signed the paper on the reward for the uh, box. <laughs> <laughs> you said there was a wanted poster, too? Yep. Who was it of? Uh, it's a silhouette of a human head, and it's charging a tiefling, or a changeling. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Uh, Dewey, who are you asking? The innkeeper. There's the crick. Is there any other place of moisture nearby? Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the innkeeper was a man. Oh, no, no, that, that, that it's Frank's called the closet. <laughs> Frank Sebastian should have every home in America just a fucking... Uh, oh, 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 excuse me. That I, take uh, I understand there's something going on in Fulton that's moist. <laughs> hey, uh, by the way, Maniz, give me a performance check. <laughs> watch this. Don't watch uh, it. Followed by Constitution. That's a five. Oh, God. Not good. It's not good. Uh, how's your Constitution? <laughs> give me a roll. <laughs> She asked you to grab her by the feathers and <laughs> rip out her flight. Oh, fuck, that was instead. almost a one. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the third feather from like the... like one and then rolled to 19, so we're good. <laughs> so you <laughs> suck at it, but you're going to last a long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. This... Hey. <laughs> at one I'm point a rubber time, you may have in fucked the ocean, yourself. Man. You aren't sure. But because uh, you're a bird, you still somehow have chlamydia. So Dewey, uh, it appears as though uh, the crick 
is uh, the crick or the town well. And they're struggling to haul the tiefling body out. I think it's, I think the crick makes more sense. <clears throat> well, That's no shit, Taryn. At the well. <laughs> Obviously, I did the looking, I researched it, I found out. Don't have to copy me. Grab the dead body you people murdered. <laughs> you people. I, I am sorry. I yeah, really sorry what's with the that. you people, man? Just because we're elves. <laughs> yeah, no shit. He probably <laughs> needs the moisture. Uh, you go out. You're going to have to search the creek for at least an hour or so. Uh, we have a shovel, sir, when we find them. Give me an investigation check. Uh, Actually, give me three. All of just him or all natural of us? 20, just 26, him. 11, and dirty 20. The first shallow grave that you find on the far side of the creek uh, <laughs> appears to be exceptionally <laughs> recent. Is and there very a shallow. second shallow there's, grave? There's, there's three <laughs> shallow graves. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you guys were here before. <laughs> I'll give them a shovel so they can dig up the body. I'm going to dig up one of the other graves. No, that's grave robbing. Well, <laughs> let me decide. Uh, I'm Lucas not, or Taryn, I'm who's going to dig a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas or Taryn, who's digging up cola? I'm, I mean, I'm not get... missing any stuff. Fine. <laughs> we'll dig it up, okay? Good. You can help dig this new hole to bury this guy in, then. You murdered him. <laughs> Taryn, give the me person a performance check. What? Give me a performance check. Performance check to dig up a hole? I'm not complaining. I, That's you know what? I think that name was uh, completely inappropriate. <laughs> Fine. That's a 19. Uh, you managed to dig it out without separating any of her limbs. Yes, there is your friend Cola. Her face is discolored. It looks like she died in agony, and oh. she is not yet stiff. Or rigor has already passed. One of the two. Wait, no. This guy said they were like lovers or something, right? Wait, but do I... Let's oh, just make really? that hole bigger then. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bury them together. Oh, yeah. oh, all I'm doing is looking for my bag. You I don't what? I'm just looking for my bag. You said he, he told against me. Said he buried it there with her. Yep. Seven? Six. Hey. You got your flute back. Yeah, and everything else. And I do, I take out the box and put it in my bag and the yellow potion, and I bury her bag. And oh, I look and make sure there's nothing of she her. She slammed the potion, didn't she? She slammed the red one, not the yellow one. Oh, I thought she swiped the other one and slammed it like as she was walking away. No, no she, she only drank the one. Oh, she okay. drank it when I, I took it, then she took it back, so... Um, oh, I look through my I th look through my bag and see if there's anything of hers because I'm going to bury that. So, is there anything in there that's not mine? Oh yeah, she would have picked up a lot of knickknacks and shit. So I cast prestidigitation because she was sick mm -hmm. on the whole thing before I handle anything, and then I will take and transfer everything that's not mine into her bag, and I'll gently put it down and rebury. Uh, can and we after we push the tiefling in. Purell from now on. Dewey and Lucas, uh, you finish digging the <laughs> hole. You help oh. Billy and the innkeeper dump the body in there. Bells ring out from the city in a heralding fashion. Oh, so they, it is, okay, so they are coming here. Folks, it's 10 o'clock. Let's go ahead and do final thoughts. Uh, Blake, final thoughts. I'm getting this cocksucker's attention one way or another. <laughs> yeah, you got everybody's attention with your comment. <laughs> uh, Kyle, final thoughts. Uh, it's shocking that I'm the most goodliest character here now. Oh. At least this episode. Hey, yeah. didn't hey, murder hey, anyone. I'm, 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 I'm doing the most valiant guy. You know what? You admitted to murder, so you know I'm going to applaud Perpetua, Perpetua and Dewey. We are the do-gooders of this stream. Obviously. I didn't even kill any of the miners. <laughs> exactly. Terry, final I, thoughts. I didn't kill that asshole either. So it didn't bring him back to life a second time either. <laughs> yeah. 
Malcolm actually brought him back to life. You continue to choke him out. Of course, he continued to oh, try Oh, I'm to sorry. The one doing non-lethal damage. Gotcha. I didn't do any. Oh, yeah. No, I did lethal damage because of the freaking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Final thoughts. That uh, innkeeper was no, very reasonable. Fuck. I, <laughs> I, I would have settled for 50 gold. <laughs> hey, it worked out. I didn't want to find someone to buy these gems. So uh, <laughs> this turned out all right. Uh, our, our lover, Chris, <laughs> final thoughts. <laughs> well, I'm either going to walk away with this uh, known for mediocre fucking or uh, I'm going to die of chlamydia or some shit. So we'll see what happens next time. I think you are every... Vote on both. Uh, I think you're <laughs> the pinnacle of 80s spring break movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, folks, uh, yeah, pretty good show. Uh, nobody came close to dying, except for Manise, who might have died from copulation. Follow us on Twitch. (laughs) Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy our crap. Uh, It's right here. Tinyurl.com slash RPG swag. We got some uh, items in there from Carol. You can get it on the uh, phone back. You can get on a fucking shower curtain. Duvet. Duvet. Yeah, well, you know what? Yeah, that is special. You got to come on here. So if you want to play with us, We'll get you squared away. Uh, we have two seats so far that are still open for next week's Saturday one shot. Uh, it is a planar adventure. I'm not telling you what plane. Uh, Tuesday, we will be going between the roles. Uh, and if you want to join the uh, discussion there, please hit us up. If you want a bingo card for next week, hit us up. Pretty much bottom line, go ahead and hit us up. Uh, we're anxious to hear how you thought we did or if you want to play and see if you can do better because God knows anybody can roll better than the uh, screw roll. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we appreciate you watching. Catch us Tuesday between the rolls. Don't catch the corona. Real quick, real Bye, quick. Everybody. We screw love- you, Heidi. <laughs> Fuck yourself. <laughs> wow, that's so angry. <sighs> Jed. <Jed. laughs>